might ask you questions from anywhere it's not necessary that if it is iocl they will ask you only about the thermal side they might also ask you questions from strength of material they might also ask you questions from production what my suggestion would be that you revise your short notes every subject you you keep revising all the subjects when you go to psus the only and the major reason is job security yes sir right? because it's a psu it's a go- almost a government job it's not exactly a government job but almost a government job so there is it's a secure job but the major problem there is the job profile hi arnab hello sir first of all congratulations aapke 69 plus marks ban rahe hain right gate mein okay uh, arnab sabse pehle to thoda sa apna background dijiye aap kahan se hain aur btech kahan se hai aapka uh sir i am from west bengal uh, my schooling was from here only from west bengal uh, for graduation i went to tamil nadu my college name is srm university okay and 2000 uh, 2020 okay so this was your first attempt in gate no sir uh, the third uh, honestly third okay what does your father do uh, so small scale uh, businessman okay okay great so now uh, what are your expectations now as you have got around 69 what are you thinking sir i am thinking of psu call uh, psu winter bowl okay okay and uh, what about uh, mtech you have an uh, no sir uh, i am not uh, thinking of mtech i am i want to go to psu okay so if you get 69 let me check what would be your expected rank because i have the last year data so based on that we can find an expected score and expected rank so last year the person who got 69 he got under 100 rank and 800 plus score yes sir. and uh, we are expecting that uh, same will be this year also yes sir. uh it might also get better and your marks also might get increased because of mta because we are expecting at least two to three questions will be mta this year we have challenged yes, around four questions hmm. but we are not sure about every question out of four at least two to three questions will become mta so your marks might get increased also yes sir so mm, what are your doubts regarding this do you have anything to ask sir uh, uh, i think uh, no nothing to ask sir because preparing for interview only and waiting for the result so okay. that will decide ultimately what i will get okay so uh, waiting for the result only okay but so, sir uh, in some other uh, predictor i have seen i am getting 75 plus marks 75 I don't, i do not know what is actual mark i am not counted sir. okay okay so uh, you have used our rank predictor yes sir i have used your word okay okay so what but in predictor? other city showing something more okay so what's our rank predictor saying about the marks sir your one it is showing 69 69 okay okay so it let's see in the final result we will get to know what is because it's only 3 to 4 days and yes, we we'll get yes, to know that right and yes, we'll sir. predict after that also Uh, right now what you are doing for your interview preparation i am watching some lectures because uh, interview will be on like when this your ntvc like this type of inter, uh, psu collateral i will get so uh, preparing for power plants ic engine rsc this type of stuff and okay. some hr courses okay okay so you keep at least four to five subjects in line because yes. uh, they might ask you questions from anywhere it's not necessary that if it is iocl they will ask you only about uh, the thermal side they might also ask you questions from strength of material they might also ask you questions from production okay yes so what my suggestion would be that you revise your short notes every subject you you keep revising all the subjects and uh, three four subjects should be your strong subjects right yes sir and apart from that i would also suggest you to work on your uh, project report and vocational training okay yes. because they will also ask you questions from that hmm. 
you might have mentioned something in your resume right about vocational training about uh, yes sir uh, project uh, my major project on uh, industrial training uh, so they might ask you questions from that also yes, and whichever uh, interview you are attending you also learn about that company because if if let's say you are attending iocl interview they might ask you questions about uh, iocl what's yes. its turnover and uh, where are the major what are the major work that iocl does and all that so they might ask you questions from that yes. okay and uh, let's say i mean it's uh, just an assumption let's say you are not able to crack the psus this year what is your plan b sir there is no plan b i am i want to get a ps because sir uh, in uh, college i have not registered for placements also so this mm -hmm. was only what for my only dream I mean, okay. only way yes okay okay although it's very rare that people getting under 100 rank uh, do not get uh, any psu that's a very rare case i was just asking that uh, do you have any plan b or not uh, anything you want to ask further uh, you no. are from which batch arna uh, vijay batch vijay batch yes. okay so how was the batch the batch this, uh, was, yeah, this was our first batch for droppers last year sir it was very much economical i would say okay uh, too much tasty days then uh, those video video solutions uh, then uh, each subject uh, revision so not many of the things you have got okay so i would also like to know your feedback what improvement can be made in that vijay batch because this year also we are launching that batch at uh, we want to improve further. This year we are getting a lot of admissions in Vijay Batch compared to last year. Yes, so we want to do more and more for the students who are uh, taking drop year because they for them this one year is very crucial. Yes, sir. So what further improvements can be done? What are your suggestions? Sir, I think uh, there are some uh, uh, classes, some like 20% of the classes where only numericals are solved. But in some classes, like 80% of the classes, they have solved the theory also. Means in uh, like summary wise, but they have solved derivation, mm -hmm. small sums, mid derivation. So those 10 plus 20% uh, of the classes also, if they will do some derivation and then solve the numericals, it will be good. Otherwise, no improvement there. Yeah. Actually, okay. our main focus was on solving numericals and yes. uh, for uh, this complaint what we have done is we have added khazana in the vijay batch so the students yes. who are enrolling for vijay batch will get the entire parakram batch in recorded format yes. so if let's say they want to study theory of a particular concept then they can do that from the parakram batch recorded lecture yes. and uh, meanwhile we will be solving questions in the vijay batch because no, we sir. Huh? I, sir, i'm not telling about that I means uh, revision not full course sir. Okay, 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 okay. Small, small revision. Okay, got it, got it. That's why I was telling, yes. Got it, got it. So in which subject particularly have you felt this need? If I may ask. I think, I think sir, strength of material, sir. Okay. In strength of material. And any other subject? Uh, no, sir. Uh, strength of material. Only I can remember of strength of material only. Okay. Because some subjects I have given much priority, like uh, production by Swadesh sir, mm -hmm. then engineering mechanics, then uh, thermodynamics. These are some uh, something that are not. I uh, mean, I'm not very. I'm confused about this subject. Okay. How to uh, utilize formulas and all theory. So these subjects help me a lot. But strength of materials, sir, I was already. It was strong subject for me, so I have not felt that much difficulty. Okay. In solving questions. Okay. Good, 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 good. Okay, Arnab. So, when the results will be declared, we will connect again. And yes, then, if you have anything to ask, you can ask us then. Okay. And yes. uh, we also have a post gate guidance batch. Have you enrolled in that batch? Uh, no, sir. I'm not enrolled in now. I would suggest that you enroll in that batch because uh, sometimes uh, we miss these notifications and uh, Sometimes we get confused uh, what exactly do we have to do. 
so these post gate guidance batch might help you in regarding that okay so we will be having uh, uh, sessions based on whenever any psu or any iit will open their forms there will be sessions regarding that and you can ask all your doubts there okay so it's sir, a one more mm -hmm. uh, sir uh, uh, as you were telling about mtech mm -hmm. so what are the benefits they will get in mtech key benefits see uh, not in research and development but any placement let, and all. let me that... tell you my story uh, when i wrote my gate exam in 2010 i that, that was the year when the psus started recruiting through gate in 2010 yes. and iocl was the only psu back then so i got the interview call from p iocl and uh, i also got a seat in iit kharagpur but i chose not to go to iocl and i chose to uh, do mtech uh, similar uh, case was uh, for Vinod sir also. He was AIR1 and he yeah. chose to go to ISC Bangalore. So we have seen every year students who are getting under 100 rank, some of them choose to do MTech and the reason behind this is job profile. See, when you go to PSUs, the only and the major reason is job security. Yes, sir. Right? Because it's a PSU, it's a go almost a government job it's not exactly a government job but almost a government job so there is it's a secure job but the major problem there is the job profile a lot of students i have seen are not satisfied with the kind of work they get there in the psus because uh, if you are a topper if you have prepared for gate for one year two year you have given everything you have a, a particular set of skills you have knowledge and you are not able to use that knowledge in your work sometimes you get demotivated and this is the major reason why a lot of students prefer to do mtech because the kind of job profile you will get after mtech uh, you will be very satisfied not with the money because it will almost be equal if you do mtech or if you get into psus after three four years the from the monetary point of view you will not get much difference there but the job profile will be very different okay so if that is something very important to you then i would suggest that you also take mtech into consideration if job profile is very important to you okay so you, i would suggest you keep both these options open and when you get offers then you choose whether you want to go this way or that way okay so that is one thing job profile another thing growth say in psus you you will have growth but that growth is very linear okay after three years or four years we'll get to this position then after that you'll get to this position then after that you'll get to this position so that growth uh, chart is almost linear but uh, when you are in corporate life when you are in a private sector then the growth is up to you it might also get exponential based on your skill set so that is also another thing in psus after every three four years you will have to change your location so that is also a major problem so there are some pros and some cons